different service actually this service is to make available to you prophetic utterances the ball is now in your court to catch them to arrest them bring them into your life but one thing is certain here today as many people as shall claim any of these prophetic utterances shall definitely have mighty testimonies if you are one of those who will have testimony, let your amen be loud. We went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. So shall ye be established. Believe his prophets, so shall ye prosper. Second Chronicles chapter 20. I read from verse 14. Second Chronicles 20, verse 14. Then upon Jaaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Beniah, the son of Jelel, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, Hacking ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem. And thou, King Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. So tomorrow, go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the cliff of Ziz, and ye shall find them at the end of the brook, before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. And when he had consulted with the people, he appointed singers unto the Lord that should praise the beauty of holiness as they went out before the Lord army and to say, Praise the Lord for his mercy and endure forever. And when they began to sing and to praise, the Lord set an ambushment against the children of Amnon, Moab, and Monsia, which came against Judah, and they were smitten. That was why I asked you to sing those praises with holy misbehavior. We are still going to do more. 23. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Monser. These are three enemies that were fighting them. Now the enemies are now fighting themselves. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Monser, utterly to slay and destroy them. And listen to this. And when they had made an end of the inhabitants of Seir, everyone helped to destroy another i prophesy upon the life of somebody here that your enemies shall destroy themselves they shall destroy themselves they shall destroy themselves they shall destroy themselves they shall destroy themselves, shall destroy themselves. in the name of jesus let your amen roll like thunder Set yourself, stand ye still, and see the salvation of the Lord with you, O Judah and Jerusalem. Fear not, do not be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head, his face to the ground, and all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshipping the Lord. And the Levites of the children of Korahites and of the children of Korahites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on her. What a strange battle plan. 20. And they rose early in the morning. I have this strange word for you. The Lord said, you shall bury the enemy assigned to terminate your life. You shall bury the enemy assigned to terminate your life. Makapota satalakaya boshanda. Let your amen be loud. The, according to this passage you've read now, you must know your God. Know the God whom you serve. The Bible says, They that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploit. By the same token, those who do not know their God, they shall suffer and they shall be exploited know your god 
that your God is an awesome God. Your God is an awesome God. This is a very serious matter, and I want you to take it seriously. A few days ago, I was in Congo, Kinshasa. We were at the crusade. We were talking about the mystery of deep troubles. As prayer started, there was a lady in that program. She was 38, 39. She had never experienced menstruation at that age. She was in the program. Immediately we started praying. A few minutes of the prayer, our mother, who was not at the crusade, ran from home to rush to the crusade ground. I was asking after her. And when she came out, I said, I don't know what happened. So, but a few minutes ago, my younger sister began to confess to witchcraft. I don't know what you are doing here, but it's affecting her there. She has started confessing to witchcraft. She said, when you were born, I will give her your placenta to bury. She did not bury the placenta. She threw it into River Congo. That's why your menstruation is gone. That was all the mother came to say at the crusade and she went back home. The awesome power of her God. It was from that moment, she began to have stomach ache. And by the next day, a menstruation that she hadn't seen for 30, 39 years started. That was the first time I would see somebody totally wet in blood and she's laughing. The awesomeness of the power of our God. I decree upon your life that any the battle is not yours, but the Lord's. And when those prophetic words begin to come out today, I know the lives of somebody here will no longer remain the same. When God begins his operation, his power lacks respect. When God begins his operation, he can change the rules for your sake. When God begins his operation, he has his way in the wind and in the wild wind. When God begins his operation, he can create something out of nothing. And I pray for somebody here, that any organ in your body that the enemy has destroyed shall be recreated now. In the name of Jesus. Every threat to your existence shall backfire. That's right. And all the holes, the holes they are digging for you. The digger of the holes shall fall into the hole. And you shall be an overcomer. In the name of Jesus. And when God begins his operation, God can make a way where there is no way. When God begins his operation, the threat of your enemy, the plan of your enemy is relevant. When God begins his operation, he can take you from nowhere to somewhere. So seven things are necessary this morning here. If you want to key into those prophecies. Number one, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable. Number two, you need to become a friend of God. And number three, worry must die in your life. Worry will not give you anything. Number four, violent faith to key into those prophecies. Number five, you need brutal, merciless, holy cry. The kind of amen you should say is an amen that when the enemy hears it, he runs. If you begin to say amen, amen to these prophecies and you lose your voice in the process, you've made a good bargain as far as you claim the prophecies because that voice will come back. Then six, you need violent praises. When we begin to, the praises, praise God violently. And seventh thing is to believe his prophets. This is September, the beginning of the ember months. Nine stands for completeness. Pregnancy lasts for nine months and delivery comes. It was in the ninth hour, Jesus said, it's finished. Nine stands for harvest. Conclusion, completion of the matter. That's what nine stands for. So that's why you must key into that and claim this prophecy. I'm here to help you so that you can gain maximum benefit of today's service. If a friend brought you here today, you should thank your friend profusely. Because what will happen today in your life will mark a reference point. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. This is an important step before we begin to claim prophecies. All eyes closed. If you are here this morning, you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Don't waste time because you want to go and pray. Wherever you are, while all eyes are closed, just leave your seat and come to the altar here at the front or the two altars at the back. Jesus is waiting for you quickly. Just leave that seat and come out.
don't be shy don't be ashamed that's why jesus brought you here don't lose out on the volcanic and earthquake eruption of the power of god that is going to manifest here today you want to surrender your life to jesus do that very very quickly now find a way to the altar there is a fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins and sinners blood beneath the blood Sophia at the altar, I congratulate you. You've taken the most important decision in life. Just close your eyes, bow down your heads, say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. I become a citizen of heaven. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. We have taken this most important decision in life. I pray, O oh Lord, that you keep them standing by your power. Lay your hands upon their lives. This decision they've taken today, let it be permanent in their lives. Almighty will continue to uphold you. And you shall have a new beginning. In Jesus' name we pray. Right there where you are, the counselors will discuss with you and they will tell you your next step to take. The rest of us, please bow down your heads and very quietly confess your sins to the Lord. Any sin that will make you not to claim your breakthrough here today, ask the Lord to forgive you. Please close your eyes, bow down your heads and say it. Jesus is here. He has never failed. He will never fail. He's the mighty man of war. The great I am. Talk to the Lord now. Talk to him. The power that divided the Red Sea shall change your story. 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 All your stubborn problems and stubborn enemies, they shall commit suicide. In the name of Jesus. Hey. 
I have this word for somebody. I don't know who this word is for. But if your amen can shake the gates of hell, it will manifest in your life. Your enemies will plan your celebration. That's right. They will plan it. Masopolikata. In the name of Jesus. Shout it loud, hallelujah. A louder, hallelujah. Have your seat, beloved. If this month is your birthday, or you are celebrating your wedding anniversary, rise up on your feet now. Amen. Father, I thank you for this, your children. I pray, O oh Lord, that as they are celebrating their birthday in this month, goodness, mercy, favor, glory will overshadow your life in the name of Jesus. Everything you have lost in previous years, you shall possess in the name of Jesus. By this time next year, you become a bigger bundle of testimonies. I'm also praying for those celebrating their wedding anniversary. You shall continue to be well with your home. No weapon formed against that home shall prosper. The Almighty shall fight all your battles. In Jesus' name we pray. Rise up on your feet, beloved. Bring out your prayer request letter and stretch it towards this altar. Thank you, Jesus. And believe God for a breakthrough. Father, we thank you for this prayer request. You are the God that answered it by fire. Answer us by fire in the name of Jesus. Let every prayer request become testimonies in the name of Jesus. Every problem the enemy is creating for you shall become your stepping stone to greatness. And every sickness assigned against your destiny shall die. It's happening, it's happening. Every sickness assigned against your destiny shall die, shall die. In the name of Jesus, all the ancestral vultures delegated to feed on your destiny shall be buried alive. In the name of Jesus, every amen assigned to kill you shall die in your place. Thank you, Jesus. You shall receive favor from unexpected places you shall have a voice from unexpected places your enemies shall destroy themselves they shall destroy themselves in the name of jesus every agent of sorrow that is assigned against you shall crumble not only that any door of tragedy open to torment you shall be shattered to pieces. Ha! Thank you, Jesus. Any chain that has tied you down to one spot is broken by the power of God. It's broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. Any power that wants to disgrace you shall be massively disgraced. In the name of Jesus, you will jump out of the pit of poverty into the arena of prosperity. In the name of Jesus, every year of unconscious detention, unconscious detention in the camp of the enemy is broken to pieces now. In the name of Jesus. Now this word is for somebody here. Every serpent and scorpion of your father's house that defeated your parents shall die. Let your amen be loud.
whether the enemy likes it or not you will cross over to the arena of victory something is about to happen now a miracle that will shock your doctors it's about to happen creative miracles are about to happen aha every power that has padlocked your success that has padlocked your children shall release the keys by force they shall release the keys 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 in the name of jesus every serpent that has swallowed the breakthrough of anyone here the stomach of the serpent shall burst and your breakthrough shall jump out in the name of jesus every power that has threatened you in the past and they think that they have finished their agenda they shall receive ugly surprise in the name of jesus the habitation of strangers in the body in anybody here now strangers in the head strangers in the chest strangers in the kidney strangers in the womb let the habitation be rendered desolate for them now in the name of jesus in the name of jesus all the enemies that have entered into the garden of your life the power of god shall swallow them this month i prophesy to somebody here whose voice can be very loud that your satanic siege is over the siege is over the siege is over i speak unto the life of somebody here that pit of witchcraft where they are diverting your benefits diverting your benefits your benefits are being withdrawn and the pit shall be closed up in the name of jesus i plug your life into the arena of promotion receive the promotion now receive it now in the name of jesus every river of pain river of failure from which you have been swimming shall terminate and you shall swim into the river of gain and prosperity you shall fly from the sky of rejection to the firmament of dominion in the name of jesus you shall depart from the bus stop of stagnancy and go into the bus stop of breakthroughs in the name of jesus there is a word for somebody here if your amen can be louder than anyone around you the lord said i should tell you that your breakthrough shall surpass every previous breakthrough that you have had in the name of jesus receive it 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 in the name of jesus you will arise and your land will be a land of favor your testimony shall be great your miracle shall give back to other miracles you will move from victim to victor you will move from shame to fame this is for somebody here who has been crying to the lord god shall waste your wasters god shall waste your wasters god shall waste your wasters in the name of jesus and your wasted years shall be compensated now with a loud voice 21 times we shout i receive it then you said the last one in the name of jesus 
are you ready now? Go! I receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every year that you have lost shall be restored. Every joy that you have lost shall be restored. All the hell past that you have lost shall be restored. Your business, your career shall come alive in a new way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon your life that your speed shall increase. Your speed shall increase. Your speed shall increase. Your speed shall increase. In the name of Jesus. Your impossibility shall become possible. And you shall be celebrated. Let your amen be loud. Your prayer points here today shall be celebrated shall be celebrated in the name of Jesus your life shall disappoint your enemies let your amen be loud your life shall disappoint your enemies in the name of Jesus I profess upon you stars cannot be touched your destiny is untouchable every demonic rule contrary to your laughter they are overruled now in the name of jesus there is somebody here you are walking into uncommon turn around within the next 10 days in the name of jesus in the name of jesus god will locate you and connect you to the apex of your destiny in the name of jesus you shall sing your song and dance your dance you shall sing your song and dance your dance you shall sing your song and dance your dance you shall not die but live to declare the works of God in the name of Jesus every ladder of darkness placed to harass you shall become your ladder of honor in the name of Jesus begin to thank the Lord now Masikaya Boshendera Bakanta. Begin to thank the Lord. Something great has happened in your life today. Makatonda Sente Yaboshende. Ribosotonde Keyaboshendera. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh God, I'm very, very grateful for all. You have done for me. Oh Lord, I'm very, very grateful. I am saying thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh. Sing it loud, sing it loud. I am saying we give glory.
glory to the Lord he reigns. We give glory to the Lord he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord he reigns. Adoration. Hallelujah, we give glory to the Lord. My lasting Father, have that lasting song. Be much a holy God, be that glorified. Everlasting Father, everlasting song. Be much a holy God, be that glory. Louder! Be thou glorified, be thou glorified, be thou glorified, be thou glorified. Present the Lord of oh my soul. No. This is the day you have made. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Praise the Lord. This is the day Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. This is the day we have made. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Shout Hallelujah. Say thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Things have happened here today. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Stretch your two hands towards this altar. If you are watching it on satellite, stretch your hands towards your screen. Listen to this words of prophecy. Your destiny shall attract color. In the name of Jesus. In the book of bad luck, your name is cancelled forever. In the name of Jesus. The best effort of your stubborn enemies shall end in painful failure. In the name of Jesus. You will celebrate Jesus. And every disappointment shall become divine appointment. Your life will be a proof that the God of Elijah is still on duty. The Bible says when a righteous man falls seven times, that he shall rise again. I profess for somebody here, you shall bounce back. 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 Right there where you are, professor, upon your life. That no man born of a woman shall stop you from becoming what God wants you to become. In the name of Jesus. Beginning from this day, there shall be divine revolution in your life. We shall bring you divine elevation. In the name of Jesus. And every opposition that shall come your way shall bring you mighty breakthroughs. Listen to me. The Lord said, Heaven will bring down their policemen to arrest your arresters. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will lift you up and change your story completely. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Shout a seven for the man.
Amen. Glory be to the name of Jesus. Glory be to the name of Jesus. As we are praying here now, a satanic body was sent here. It is dead. Amen. It's, it's actually on my feet here. Amen. Praise the Lord. Close your eyes now. All eyes closed. Now listen. The Bible says, Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper that desire. A lot of evil men are gathering themselves to rule Nigeria. A lot of occultic men are grouping themselves together to spoil the destiny of Nigeria further. A lot of blood drinking men want to rule this nation. If we as a church allow them, they will cause chaos. This is why I want you to pray this prayer in anger. Say, every occultic power attempting to rule Nigeria within 24 hours. In the name of Jesus. Just let the occultic power be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Every politician whose agenda is to steal scatter in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. If the agenda is to steal scatter them. Thank you Jesus. Aha. In Jesus name we pray. Say any power wanting to plunge Nigeria into bloodshed. You are a liar. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Wants to plunge Nigeria into bloodshed. You are a liar. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray finally so where is the Lord God of Elijah Arise! sanitize the leadership of this country sanitize the leadership of this country open your mouth and pray like that Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. In case you are not aware, 18 countries in Africa are celebrating their 50th year's anniversary this year. Mostly, they have not made much progress. But it's a power that pulls them down. All we need to do now is to now begin to bless Nigeria with all the blessing God puts in our mouth. As we move to this 50th year anniversary, speak good things into your country. Bless the nation. Bless the nation. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I pray right now for all your children who have attended this prophetic meeting. But Lord, their testimonies will be permanent. The Lord will bless you from Zion. And make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. It is written that you to the hills will raise up your head. From there comes your help. The help comes from the Lord who made heaven and Not suffer your feet to be moved. For it that keepeth you will not slumber. That keepeth Israel shall end slumber and sleep. The Lord shall keep you going and you are coming out. No shall keep you in all your ways. No evil shall be for you. Then there shall any plague move near your camp. It is well with you. Every tragedy of embalmment, it is minus you. It's minus you, minus your family. 
in the name of Jesus I put you in the envelope of fire thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus mighty name we pray a louder amen a louder amen a louder amen let us share the grace of fellowship